Please be seated. Praise the Lord. I come before you in behalf of Bishop Ariel. Uh, as I encourage you to pray for our bishops as they convene together, that pray as they hear from the Lord that we too will truly uh, follow the directions that God has given us so that we can truly be the people that God has called us to be. I want you to turn to your neighbor and sabi niyo sa katabi niyo, God is good. God is good. Again, the other neighbor, tell them, God is good. God is good. Amen. Truly, God is good. And, you know, we, we barely scratch the surface of the goodness of God. We sing the song, God is so good. Uh, we sing the goodness of God. But really to experience, you know, the scripture says, come and taste and see that the Lord is good. You know, even though na nakikita natin sa ating paligid maraming bagay-bagay na hindi kaaya-aya, maraming pigati, maraming kalungkutan, but we know in our hearts na mabait ang Panginoon. Somehow, when we open our eyes to truly see God in His, in, in, in His true image, we will see that God is really good. And that gives us a hope. As Romans said, hope doesn't disappoint. Hope doesn't disappoint because God is really good. There are many lessons that we can really learn from the, the, the gospel today. You know, it's an ancient teaching actually that Jesus brings to us. Thirsting for living water. There are many lessons we can learn. Jesus declares here, he, he gives us living water. When we partake of this, we will never thirst again. Let's take a look at the words of Jesus in John chapter 4. Jesus was talking to the Samaritan woman. Sabi niya, anyone who drinks of this water will thirst again. He talks about the, the water from the, the well. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him shall never thirst. But the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. We'll never thirst again. You know, come to think of it, we really have not come to that point. Kasi tayo pa rin I mean, thirst is a natural urge. Uh, we, we all get thirsty. Sa araw-araw na ginawa ng Diyos, nagkakaroon tayo ng, lalo na ngayon, na pumupunta na tayo sa tag-init, madali tayong mauhaw. And as, you know, common uh, experience of daily life of being thirsty is a very, very good illustration of what we are in the spirit. We thirst for something. There is a thirst in our lives. May pagkauhaw sa atin eh. Hindi natin nalalaman niya dahil ang, ang naiintindihan ng natin yung pagkauhaw sa physical. Pero ang ating mga kaluluwa, ating spirito, may pag-uuhaw, may, may, uh, may nauuhaw rin yan. At nanggagaling lang at yun ay nabibigyan ng katugunan kay Jesus. Let's read some of other scriptures that really portray that Jesus gives us that water. In John chapter 7, verse 37 and 38. I'm reading this from the King James Version. In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Living water. Yun ang binibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Dahil maraming mga bagay, uh, ma ma mawawala ang uh, ating uha, pagkauhaw temporarily, pero mauuhaw ulit tayo. Ganun din sa ating spiritual na uh, kalagayan. Now, madaling, uh, you know, we hear a lot of good things, we, we, we meditate on the word, but if we do not come to the very source of those words, we will thirst again. We must come to the very source 
which is Jesus. In Revelation chapter 22, verses 17, the end of the book, it says here, you know, there, there will come a time when, and, and the Spirit and the Bride says, Come, let anyone who hears say, Come, and let the one who is thirsty come. Let the one who wishes to take the water of life without cause. There are many, many scriptures. You know, these are just three. But there are many, many, maraming mga bagay sa salita ng Diyos na nag, nagsasabi na inaalok tayo ng Panginoon ng tubig, ng walang hanggan. Living water. Living water. This calls us to see that water is life. And living water gives eternal life. Living water gives eternal life. Ano yun? Parang ano, no, napaka mataling haga. Hindi natin maintindihan. Ano ba yung buhay na tubig? Ano ba yung nagsasalita ba yan? O ano? But really, life that is, uh, because water is life. Kapag tayo umiinom, sabi nga nila na hindi pwedeng mat, ang, ang isang tao na walang tubig for a long period of time. Talagang mamamatay tayo. We can fast in certain things food, but water, once that you are really uh, in drought physically, you will die. Because water is life. Water is life. And Jesus is offering us living water. Living water that comes from the very source of life. I say water is life. But the living water gives us that life because the very source is life. Kung saan nanggagaling itong spiritual na tubig na ito ay nanggagaling sa Panginoon. He is the source of all life. That's why we proclaim in CEC, all life is sacred. You know, all of these scriptures that I mentioned to you calls us to one and one very important uh, truth. And that is we ought to come to the Lord. We have to return to Christ Come to Jesus. You know, we, it is so important for us to daily come to Him. Hindi lang yung pagsimba, you know, which is very important. Hindi lang yung pagbabasa ng, uh, ng salita ng Diyos, which is very important. Hindi lang yung mga sacraments, which is very, very important. All of these are important, but there has to come in our lives an attitude that we always look to the source. Dahil mayroong pagkauhaw tayo eh. That can only be quenched from the very source of life and that is God. If we come to Him, we will never thirst again. Again, sinabi ko na sa simula, we really have not yet uh, uh, come to that point kasi nakuuhaw tayo ulit eh. In our spiritual life. But once we come to that point and we know that day will come, that we would truly taste and see that the Lord is good, we will never thirst again. Tayo ay dapat lumalapit kay Jesus araw-araw upang tunay na bigyan tayo ng buhay na walang hanggan sa pamamagitan ng kanyang tubig na nanggagaling sa kanya. Lumapit tayo kay Jesus araw-araw, hindi lang linggo-linggo, Hindi lang kapag may Bible study o may prayer meeting. Kundi at bawat sandali ng buhay natin, tayo lumalapit kay Jesus. It reminds me of our radio program before, uh, Lumapit kay Jesus. You know, it always uh, encourages us to every day truly come to the very source of life. Lumapit. Incidentally, I'd like to invite you all to listen to our radio program. Kape, kwento at alaman, you know, every Saturday, you can get details to be, you can do that on our website. At 2 p.m. one and up to 3. Actually, pwede rin yung, ano yun, kasi pwede sa internet rin yun, makapunod yun. So, please, watch. Tumapit kay Jesus every day of our lives. When we come to that attitude of coming to Him every day, we, we find ourselves refreshed. You know, because it was not when we let 
let's talk about it in physical as uh, in the physical aspect. Di ba ba kung tayo matutaw? Wala ka pari sa isang malamig na tumutulong ng yelo. You know? Uh, maaaring marami tayong ibang preference na gusto. Maaaring soft drinks, o iced tea, o milk tea. Ayan, lahat ng mga bagay-bagay na nandiyan. Pero wala pa rin papantay kapag isang tubig, basong tubig na puno ng yelo at malamig. It really quenches our thirst. That in the same manner, we come to the very source of that living water. And He gives us that uh, source of life that we may be having life every day of our lives. Later on, I would share to you that this, as we do this, it will, it will uh, cause us to spring up with that water that will also bless other people. That will also be a uh, showing forth. Di ba gusto na naman natin mapakita si Jesus sa ating paligid? That only comes when we truly partake of Him. We will never thirst again. All of these things we learn in the gospel today. Meron isang bagay na gusto ko rin i-share. Another facet siguro. Uh, na, nung binabasa ko ito, nung minimeditate ko ito, may isang uh, parallelism na nakita ko rin. You know, we, we see this as Jesus giving us the living water. But I want to share with you another aspect of the gospel which I find it very, very interesting. You know, in the, in the, in the gospel, it talks about Jesus giving us water. And in the Old Testament reading, binasa ng, uh, ng reader kanina, it gives us an Old Testament account of the children of Israel uh, after having you know, gone through the great uh, deliverance of God. Biglang nauuhaw sila. Biglang nauuhaw sila. And dun sa punto na talagang desperado sila, in business, you know, uh, pumunta sila sa Panginoon through Moses at to, to then give their, you know, their, their uh, humingi sila humbly, mapagpumbabang paghingi at sabihin, Panginoon, bigyan nyo kami ng tubig. Hindi. Naging mareklamo sila. They began to grumble. They began to be complaining. Dahil siguro sa the selfishness in them, they, they began to grumble, nag, uh, nagsasalita na sila ng masama tool kay Moses, and ultimately kay Panginoon. Madali tayong umangal pag tayo ay nasa sa hindi magandang sitwasyon. In fact, we rebel when we are in very, very difficult situations. You know, pag uhaw na uhaw ka, nagiging desperado ka, we, we begin to become... Uh, uh, you know, we, we, we irritate people because we are in that point. Here in the Old Testament, they forgot. You know, it's amazing that they saw the wonderful uh, uh, deliverance of God, but they forgot the one who extended mercy and salvation to them. And that is the Lord. Now, fast forward tayo. Sa gospel naman, Jesus also became thirsty. Jesus was thirsty. I mean, hindi yung thirst siguro nung time na yun. I mean, wala naman mga jeep o tricycle o bus na pwede nilang sakyan. They really did it on either a donkey or a camel. And talagang mainit ang panahon. It was a very discomforting situation. Siguro something that we in the 21st century do not understand. Pero Jesus in His, you know, thirst... He responded differently. Jesus found a need in the woman that he, he met, the Samaritan woman. He responded differently. In the time of need that we have, when we are in distress, when we are uh, in trouble, it's easy to complain to the Lord. It's easy to, to be rebellious to the Lord. And you know, Lord, bakit nangyayari ito sa buhay ko? Bakit ako pa? You know? 
Pero Jesus gives us an example that even though he was in deep need of having water, and he was really uh, desperate of having water, he saw the need of the woman and began to minister. You know, if you really think of this, uh, Jesus began to be uh, not anymore forsaking his own need, but seeing the need of another person. This challenges us, brothers and sisters, na kapag tayo ay nasa problema, tayo ay nasa, uh, when we are in distress, pag tayo desperado, let's turn the, the way we approach things, but rather begin to help others. Begin to minister others to, to others. Instead of complaining, instead of saying, Lord, bakit nangyayari ito sa akin? But rather saying, Lord, help me. I, I'm in trouble. Maraming mga problema ako. Pero siguro, bigyan niyo ako ng lakas para makita ang problema ng iba na kahit papano maging pagpapala ako sa kanila. I may not be the source of what they, they need, but I can be a source of encouragement to what they need. I can be your channel of light. May I be the water that God has given me to their thirst. Nakita nyo? Ang Old Testament, sila nag, nagreklamo sila. Tuloy, naging mapait yung, yung tubig na nakuha nila. Pero kay Jesus, hindi. Binigyan niya tayo ng example, even in thirst, and even in desperation, it was really a tiring day. It is easy to complain. It is easy to be to feel down. But you know, the, the well was deep. How can you get the, the water? But he saw the need of the woman and said that I, if you knew the, the one that is speaking to you, he will give you living water that you will never thirst again. Now, there are many, many Bible people, uh, characters in the Old Testament and even in the New Testament where they were in the midst of uh, the trying moments of their life, but found the cho- and made the choice to either, uh, instead of cursing the darkness, speaking the light. Uh, instead of seeing my thirst, akong kawawa naman ako, uhaw na uhaw na ako, hindi, uunahin ko ang pangangailangan ng ibang tao. Then we receive the blessings of God in our life. We receive living water. Alam nyo, in, in that experience that Jesus is teaching us, actually, we begin to see that He already fulfilled our, our need at that time. Another example of this was Joseph, Joseph the dreamer in the Old Testament. You know, he can be, he was placed after the, the episode of uh, Potiphar and he was placed in the dungeon he, he, would, he, he could be saying, Oy, bakit ako, why, bakit ako nasa kulungan? But rather than being that, he began to minister to the people around him and interpret their dreams. He took that upon himself. That is a challenge, brothers and sisters, that I place to us. Another way of looking that, uh, of, of this part of Scripture in the, in the Gospel is to see that even in our need, in our thirst, we begin to see the need of others and, being, uh, and begin to minister to them. This brings us to the reading in the, Old Te- to the New Testament in Romans chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. It's so beautiful because it, it kind of ties up to the thing that I have seen in, in the gospel today. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained an, our introduction by faith into this grace which we stand. We exalt in hope of the glory of God. Verse 3. And not only this, but we exalt in our tribulation, yung pagkauhaw natin, in our desperation, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance, proven character. You know, when we make that step of meeting other people's need, 
meeting other people's thirst, we are being changed. It changes us. Proven character and proven character, hope. Verse 5, and hope does not disappoint. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. This is living water. This is living water. The love of God has been poured in within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given to us. So beautiful. Alam mo, it's a challenge. Sabi ko, Lord, ano tinuturo mo this time of Lent to me personally? And in my need, I begin to see, parang sinasabi ng Lord sa akin, tingnan mo yung mga pangangailangan ng ibang tao. You are thirsting for many things. But look at the, the, their need and begin to be an agent of light to them and giving, uh, being a source of help to them. Mahirap kasi ikaw ang nangangailangan. Eh. Ikaw ang nauuhaw. Ikaw ang nasa, uh, may problema. Ikaw ang umiiyak, lumuluha. Pero you see the need of others. Lord, this is where it creates in us perseverance. It creates in us a proven character. It creates in us hope. And hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God, the love of God is that living water being poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. And the beautiful thing that as we begin to walk the ways of Christ in the manner that He t- teaches us, we yield fruit to share. Yun ang title natin, di ba? Sharing. Tree, really being people that faithfully share, faithfully give. We yield a fruit that we share. If we, allow, we cultivate this attitude and making that choice to be a blessing, God gives us supply to share. To others, Amen. Amen. So it's a different way of looking the, at, at the of the gospel because sabi ko, Lord, ah, what are you teaching us during this time of Lent? Dying to self, and this is a way of seeing that that Christ is even in His need, even in His thirst, He began to see the need. Lord, open my eyes that I may begin to see the need of others, that I may be faithful to hear Your voice. And that I may be faithful to truly listen to you. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for your, the gospel reading. Father, you promised, Lord, you said that as we come to you, Jesus, you will give us that living water that we may never thirst again. That living water is your very love poured out into our hearts, Lord. The love that knows no sin, knows no boundaries, knows no uh, uh, need because we know that you are the source of all things. Father, open our eyes that even in the, in the time that we are in trouble, even in the time that we are in distress, may you open our eyes to see the needs of others and begin to be a light to them. That we can truly be the people that you have created us to be. This we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen Amen and amen. Please stand. Let us now proclaim the Nicene Creed. Together, we believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things, visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, 
not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified.